What's up beautiful people? I'm Erin and this is Erin On Demand and today's video is all about should you niche or not? Now, I did a video recently about how to start a YouTube channel in 2022 and gave all of my best tips for how to start and grow a channel this year and this was a highly requested follow-up so I'm excited to share with you guys some deeper information into niching or targeting your audience. Now, I get so many comments and grievances about how y'all are multifaceted and you do not want to niche and there are so many aspects or types of content that you want to create and you just feel so confined because everyone is telling you to niche, niche, niche. And when I was starting on YouTube, that was the go-to advice that I was hearing as well was to niche down, to get as specific as possible with your content. And although niching is a great strategy to use and I think that it still works uh, I think that there are better ways to go about it so that way you don't feel like you are getting burnt out from creating the same type of content and also your audience isn't getting bored of you creating the same type of content so in this video I'm breaking down the marketing strategy that I use so if you're interested keep watching first things first let's break down the difference between a niche a target audience and a target audience persona. So a niche is a specific category or a segment of a market. So a lot of times when you hear people say niche down or niche even more, they're telling you that your content or your business is too vague or too broad or it's trying to reach too many types of people and you need to bring it in so that you can reach more of a specific group of people within that group okay and i'm going to give you guys some examples as well so keep watching so it can all come together and make sense now a target audience is a group of people who are most likely to engage with your business and most of the time within the target audience there are commonalities so you will see that there are people who have a lot of similarities within that group. Now, a target audience persona is what's going to explore those similarities. It's going to explore those common threads, those personality traits, different aspects of the whole person instead of focusing on a group of people or like niching in a specific subject matter. So by definition, a target audience persona is a crafted description of a person or a fake person or an avatar of someone who fits into your target audience. Basically what a target audience persona does is it takes the generalization out of your marketing and it adds a lot more specificity and personalization that creates so much power in whatever it is that you are branding and marketing within your business. And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call target audience persona your tap. Taps are honestly my favorite way to market and reach my target audience because they allow you to not be so restricted with the type of content. I found that with doubling down on a niche, like if I were to double down on YouTube tips, you know, for beginners, then I would be so stuck in a rabbit hole of this niche of trying to create content within that when I want to create content that spans over more things, as well as I'm sure my audience would probably want to see more content. There's only so much information that you can give within a spe super specific niche. So you do want to be careful when it comes to niching because you want to make sure that you have enough room to grow that your audience has other ways that they are able to identify you and that you're not feeling like you're going to reach this space where you're tapped out of being able to create content in that area so with the target audience persona you're really pulling different traits characteristics um, motivators and we're gonna go through a list of things that you can consider when you're writing your target audience persona but because you are trying to understand all of these different aspects about this person you're able to speak to them in a wider range even though you're speaking to a specific person so I'm gonna give you guys an example so let's look at niching so a niche could be social media marketing right um, that is your niche but then a niche within that niche would be YouTube marketing. And then a niche within that niche could be YouTube marketing for beginners. So that's 
niching. So I'm gonna take YouTube marketing for beginners and turn that into a target audience persona. Here's what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna read my example of a target audience persona for a YouTube marketing for beginners channel. Okay, target audience persona is a 25 year old black woman who is starting a YouTube channel as a side hustle while working in her corporate full-time job. She's hoping to quit in the next two years and start a business from her channel, but doesn't feel completely confident that she can grow her channel fast enough. She loves watching YouTube and can be a bit of a perfectionist, which slows her down from getting into action. She has an amazing idea for her channel, but is stuck on how to turn her ideas into video content. She loves her family, fashion, and happy hour after work. She reads books like Atomic Habits and Becoming and listens to podcasts and R&B on her way to work. So that is a target audience persona. Now it can be as descriptive, it can be as long, it can be as you know informational for you as possible, but the whole goal is so that you have an understanding on not just the type of content they're looking for, but actually what's going on in their minds. What kind of things are they feeling? What types of things do they like? So let's go into some of the things that you can consider when you're creating your target audience persona. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can even name your target audience persona. And when you are creating content, you can say, is this something that Alicia would like? It makes your persona feel real. And that is the power of a target audience persona is that you're speaking to the entire person now. So instead of only creating content about YouTube marketing strategies, you may have content about the mindset shift of quitting your job. You may have content about um, being a perfectionist when it comes to YouTube. You may have content about um, your family or some of the fun things you do, or you may include some books that you're reading, or you know, there are so many more things that you can now speak to Alicia about because you're in Alicia's brain. You understand some of the things she's struggling with, some of the things she likes, some of her hobbies, and you can begin to incorporate that into your content. Now, target audience personas are a great way to tap into that emotional side of your audience, which is really what incentivizes them to watch or to buy. And even in the beginning of this video, I tried to acknowledge some of the struggles that a lot of you may be feeling as you're trying to niche your channel. That's a great way to think about, you know, ways to incorporate your target audience persona into your content, because this is not something that you are just broadcasting. You're not sharing exactly what your target audience persona is with your audience. This is something for you to use internally so that you have a clear understanding on how to reach them. Here are some traits that you can start to consider when you are crafting your target audience persona. Age, because age makes a big difference if you're marketing to a teenager versus a 40 year old mother of three, you know, they're, they have different motivators and different, you know, mindset, gender, place of residence, career, ethnicity, relationship status, family dynamic, kids, if so, how many, top three personality traits, interests or hobby, financial status, and motivators and challenges. This is the most important one, the motivators and challenges, because that is really what you're going to agitate to get them to keep watching or to get them to consuming your content or to get them to buying your products. When you understand what motivates them to move or what aggravates them, that is the most powerful way for you to attract who you're looking for. Now, I also want you to keep in mind that for your target audience persona, because even in my example, I didn't include all of these things. Really pluck through what you feel is relevant, and I would recommend writing it kind of in a story, like you're creating a person. It's actually kind of fun. Um, so writing it kind of like the story of this imaginary person and, and seeing what naturally comes out for you. Also keep in mind that every single person who purchases from you or who watches your videos 
or who loves your content is not going to fall into your target audience persona. They're not going to be just like them, but that's not honestly the goal. The goal is to have as many people with, you know, some similarities to your target audience persona. So maybe, you know, mine is attracting 25 year olds who worked in corporate, but there is someone who is 45 years old who's still working in corporate, but who also, you know, wants to start a YouTube channel. So the goal is not for you to only be working with or attracting this specific type of person to where you feel like you are cutting out or weeding out all of these other people. That's one of the big myths about either niching or targeting your audience or creating a target audience persona is that you feel like you are uh, you, you're weeding all of these other people out, but you're not, you're just being more specific on your approach to targeting the people that are ideal for you to work with or ideal to consume your content. So let's talk action steps. First thing you're going to want to do is take a look at your current audience. If you already are creating content, look at your current audience and just get a feel for, is this you know, do these people look like what I'm trying to attract? So if you have Instagram, start going through your followers, clicking on some of their profiles. You can already kind of see a little profile picture, but start clicking on some of their profiles, seeing what they look like, seeing, you know, if they seem like they are someone who falls into your target audience personas, qualities. Um, you know, this is something that you need to understand of who is currently following you, not who you think should be following you or not who you want to be following you, but getting an understanding of who's there now, because this is going to help you maybe see that who you're, who you think you're attracting may be a little bit off. And this can actually impact the target audience persona that you create. The second thing you need to do in addition to kind of sifting through some of your followers or some of the people who are commenting on your YouTube and just kind of trying to get a feel for, you know, who they are is to start collecting some data. So in your YouTube channel, whether it's your community tab, or even if you don't have the community tab yet, if you do a pinned comment and try to kind of take a poll with yes or no answers, or on Instagram, taking polls, just trying to see who's there, asking very close ended questions that are easy for people to respond to. So you can get an idea of who's in your audience and start collecting that data. Because if you think that, you know, most of your audience is women, but most of your audience is men, that can help you get an understanding of why, why is most of my audience men? Like, am I, maybe you created a piece of content that was really helpful for men and you got a lot of male followers in, and maybe that can impact how you choose to move forward with your content creation. So keep in mind that your actual audience and your target audience could look different. And that's why it's important to know who's there now. The third thing is listening to your audience. You have to listen because they're going to tell you what they want. And when it comes to creating content, it is equally as much of us creating what we like paired with us creating what our audience likes because the whole goal of creation is for it to impact for it to reach the people that you want it to reach so you do have to listen to your audience just like with this video i didn't really want to do a target audience persona video but that was something that you guys expressed that you wanted to see so here we are so when you write it down you can use this on a regular basis to filter your captions to filter your brand colors and your branding you can filter your youtube videos and your youtube titles through this to see if it will attract this person or for the sake of our example, will it attract Alicia? Is she going to click on this? Is she going to read it? Is she going to resonate with this? So that's the power of a target audience persona is it gives you a range within specificity, if you will. And the fifth thing I recommend you do when you're creating your target audience persona is to look at yourself. Oftentimes, we are our own target audience persona. We are who we're looking to attract. And most likely that is who you're going to attract because people see those similarities in you even without you saying them. So just by me being who I am, I'm going to attract a certain type of person. And so also keep that in mind. Keep yourself, keep your motivators and your struggles and things that maybe you wish you had known at a certain stage in your life or, you know, in your process process that you didn't know, like constantly be putting yourself into that situation. But a lot of 
targeting your audience is self-reflection. So remember, target audience personas focus on the whole person through the lens of your main subject matter and niching focuses on doubling down on a specific subject matter. So they both work hand in hand, but when you have that target audience persona, you are able to have some more variety, have some more fun, and help your audience feel seen. There have been many times where I create videos or I say something a certain way or I break the message down in a certain way and my audience feels really seen because I'm taking that persona into consideration with every piece of content that I create. Please let me know if you have any additional questions in the comments below. I also go in much more depth about target audience personas and buyer personas in my course called Creator to CEO. If you are a content creator right now a micro influencer or you know you are interested in building your business I highly recommend you get on the wait list for the course I will be officially announcing it very soon on YouTube but I wanted to give you a little head start all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one bye for now